Hey guys, thanks for joining in today. Today I'll be showing you guys the 400 watt outlet in the back of a Toyota 4Runner 5th gen. Before I show you how to turn it on, a lot of you guys have questions on how it works and what it can run and if the car needs to be on. Uh, basically, the button is gonna be in the front which I'll show you how to turn on and off. Uh, I currently don't have an external battery so I'm currently using this to power my fridge but the vehicle does need to be on for it to to charge while i'm on the go um, it's nice for long road trips because it does keep my fridge on and it does keep everything cold um, it is a 400 watt so it does power up a lot of things some of the things that won't power up is maybe a heated blanket or a blender or anything that uses a lot of electricity so 400 watts is the max that it can run um, it does run this again very sufficiently so in order for you to turn this on uh, what you need to do is head to order to the head over to the front of the vehicle And it's gonna be this button here. So there's a hundred watt and there's a 400 watt button uh, The hundred watt button actually turns on the outlet switch that's here on the center console and in order to turn on the 400 watt again, you need to turn on the vehicle Go ahead and press down like so. The light lights on on the 400 watt. Okay, now that the switch is on, you can go ahead and check. Everything's plugged in. The light's on here. And of course, the fridge is on and it's cooling down. I love this. It's, it's really convenient if you don't have a dual battery system or an external battery. It, it really is awesome for long road trips where you're gonna have the car running and it's just gonna keep it on. Um, one thing that that uh, does annoy me is that every time you stop the vehicle, whether you're getting gas, letting your, your dog out to pee, and you turn off your vehicle, it is gonna shut down. So you do need to go back to the front, turn it back on, and that's just an extra step that you're gonna have to remember. Uh, but regardless, it works great. I'm gonna get an external battery so that everything will be wired seamless so that it will stay on. Um, and I have a solar panel on top where it's going to con continuously keep the external battery charged and keep the fridge running while the vehicle is off. So that's the goal, but I want to show you how to turn that on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe. 